Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. It is that time again. Yes, the Halloween Horror Nights spec map has been released. Which is great because Extendo's Halloween Horror Nights is hopefully on for this year. Construction has been happening around the parks. I'll be getting a Super Nintendo... Or sorry, oh yeah, I will be getting a Super Nintendo World and Halloween Horror Nights construction update at Universal Studios Hollywood this weekend. So stay tuned for that. It'll be on Saturday before I head to Disney on Sunday. So... Watch out for that. But, so, this is the Halloween Horror Nights 2021 spec map for Universal Studios Hollywood. And, I'm going to start off by this year saying there's no scare shows and no shows. Um, sorry, no, no scare zones and no shows um, proposed in this spec map. Just attract uh, some attractions that are open, um, like always, and about seven mazes here. So, yeah. The rides that will be open will be Simpsons Ride, Jurassic World, Transformers, and Revenge of the Mummy. No Secret Life of Pets, uh, because uh, most likely I think it's because that um, the maze that goes through the Parisian courtyard. I feel like for logistical reasons, I feel like that's why they can't. They don't have Minion Mayhem, uh, Super Silly Funland, or now Secret Life of Pets open, because I feel like it would be kind of a logistics nightmare to kind of separate the two people because they have to exit somewhere. And if you have a crowd of people waiting for lines there, it'll be tough. So no sequel for pets. But if you get their ticket, the after four ticket or the after two ticket, they usually do like a combo ticket. You'll be able to ride sequel for pets, and then obviously go horror nights in a few hours after that. If they if they continue to sell that ticket for this year. Um. Now on to the mazes. Uh, some interesting mazes. Um. But one of them I really like. Because it was my favorite maze last year. And it was actually original concept from Universal. So I hope this is true. Because um, it's to be quite lovely if true. Um, but let's first off start with the one of uh, the maze down by the mummy. I'm by letter A. So the uh, letter A, which is by, right by the mummy show opening. And one that's most obvious to be for Halloween, Halloween Hornet's construction on the way to the lower lot. Is... Rumored to be Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, there's been a few iterations of this maze already um, over the years, but I'm excited to see what uh, they do with this one. I personally have been to Horror Nights when this maze was uh, available, so I don't know when the last time this maze was available, but I do know this IP has been used throughout the Halloween Horror Nights uh, history. So, that'd be super exciting to see what they come up with for that. And you can see the facades, and again, I'll show you the facade on the way um, down to the lower lot by the mummy. They have, they're really working on this one. It's almost done. And this is by, again, uh, Revenge, Revenge of the Mummy. And I'll do a construction update on that on Saturday. Letter B, which is the, wire, the water, water, uh, water world mazes, is rumored to be Halloween 3, the season of the witch, um, which is... Uh, Cool, uh, interesting choice. Um, Halloween classic franchise. I feel like there's a different version of a Halloween maze every year, so that should be pretty interesting. Now, the season of the witch. I feel like there'll just be Michael Myers, and now there'll be a witch character potentially, um, which should be kind of cool. I'm excited for that, and again, I'll check on the progress on that on Saturday. Letter C. Which is, uh, there's two mages in the Carrier George parking lot, and you can see that C and D are kind of right by Hogwarts, the tip of Hogwarts. That those, those are the Carrier George parking lot by, kind of by the steel tour tram loading area. And that is about to be Beetlejuice. Um, this looks like where the same area, or one of the tents, I don't know if it's the same location, but it's near the same area where, um, where, Oh, I'm blanking. I'm so blanking. Wait a second. Us. There you go. I, I think of Up. Uh, you know, like a Pixar's Up, but it's really Us. Um, Jordan Peele's Us. That maze was last year, 2019. Kind of that same area. And so I'm excited. The Beetlejuice Classic. This is rumored for last year, so I'm, I'm sure they just carried it over <laughs> to this year. And Beetlejuice has been the headline. Is the headlining maze at. HHN 30 in Orlando. So, uh, of course, it's going to be here as well. Letter D, which is the maze right next to that one in the Curious George parking lot, 
is the one I'm personally most excited for. And that is the Curse of Pandora's Box 2. Yes, the Curse of Pandora Bo- Pandora's Box is getting a sequel. Um, I really like that maze uh, in 2019. I didn't go to all of the mazes, but I went to about 7 of 10 mazes. So it was 70% of the mazes. And by far, the Curse of Pan- Pandora's Box was my favorite in terms of set design and originality. Again, it's not... It was based on IP as a universal original, so this is uh, super exciting that this is getting a um, sequel. Um, I'm really excited for it because they have some really cool patterns. Um, you walk into these rooms and there's like all like orange with black polka dots, and like the whole room, the wall, and the people there'll be figures and statues, there's statues and real people dress in that same pattern as the room and then they start jumping out at you. It's, it was really cool, like visually really awesome to me. And actually, I didn't find it scary, but my friend actually found it so scary that she came out crying, unfortunately, at the end of that one. But I loved it. Um, if you haven't seen it, go uh, go after you see this video. Go. I'm sure there's a walkthrough somewhere. Um, I think Tiffany Haddish or someone did a Ellen, someone did a walkthrough on Ellen. Um, Halloween Horror Nights uh, in 2019, and they walked through the Pandora's box, which is really awesome. So I think I'll check that out. Um, I suggest it. So you can get ready for The Curse of Pandora's Box 2 if you're coming here uh, from out of state. Or um, if you're just coming to Halloween Horror Nights in general. Alright. Letter E. The Walking Dead. Now this one isn't a surprise because as when... Um, when uh, The Walking Dead, the permanent walkthrough closed in 2020, it was about March of 2020 last year, coincidentally, right before the parks closed, uh, they, Universal said Universal said that there was going to be, uh, it's going to come back in Halloween Horror Nights May. So this one was expected. Was, this is called The Walking Dead Attraction, and it's, uh, it says previous location. Oh, so The Walking Dead's, I guess that's going, that's going where kind of pets is or it's going in the the hudson gate area it's right next to sequel for pets so if it's going there i still wonder why pets is closed then maybe it's just because they want to keep pets closed i don't know um so i guess walking dead will be going back in the same spot um, i wonder if they will change that location to like a permanent attraction or a meet and greet spot or something or a restaurant like i i was hoping for um we'll see but nothing so well, nothing yet walking dead's going back in its previous spot a little homage to its uh, classic attraction there. Moving on to letter F. And this is our sixth house. Letter F. And other than Soundstage 29. Keep in mind, Soundstage 29 is where the Stranger Things was for the past couple of uh, years. So now it's uh, something new. I love Stranger Things, but it, those mazes just weren't scary. As much as I love the movie and the set pieces, I do go to Halloween Horror Nights for some scares. Um, so that... I'm glad it's not the walk. Uh, I'm glad it wasn't uh, Stranger Things. I'm sorry. I think I think I said The Walking Dead a couple of times. So I meant Stranger Things. I'm glad it wasn't Stranger Things, even though I absolutely love the series and I can't wait for season four to come out later later this year or next year. Uh, but I again, I go to wa- Halloween Hornets to try to get scared, to scare the crap out of me. But uh, Stranger Things was not scary, but they have some beautiful set pieces. So hopefully, the haunting, haunting of Hill House, which is going that big. Big beautiful location, Sound Change Twenty Nine, um, will um, will scare the crap out of me. We'll see. And lastly, uh, a Universal Monsters attraction. The classic Monsters mazes are some of my favorite mazes. Mazes, um, two or uh, three years ago, in twenty eighteen, they had the classic Monsters mazes, and that was like one of my favorites, if not my favorite maze of that event because it was so well done and it actually scared i jumped about three times in that maze that was a real good my friend also came out crying my other friend came out crying from that maze so well hopefully this one does the same effect and it'll be a classic monsters with the bride of frankenstein bride of frankenstein lives and that's the letter g and this is going in the same spot where the class of uh classic monsters mazes seem to go and that's in that universal plaza area so what do you guys think about this speculation map? I think it looks great. Um, obviously no shows or scare zones because of the current situation because they're kind of just ramping up. But you never know. You never know. It's still a few months out. And if COVID gets even, even better, you know, California's going to f- supposed to fully reopen on June 15th. If 
our staff stay the same and everyone gets vaccinated. So who knows? Maybe, just maybe, uh, a couple of scare zones will pop up in there uh, in the planning process later on. I feel like it doesn't take that much to put up a scare zone. So they can throw a couple in there uh, later on the plan- planning process in the summertime. So maybe you'll find a couple of scare zones, um, particularly um, the toxic tunnel scare zone in the back lot. That's a, that scare zone really does nothing. They just add some lights and put some characters in there. Uh, that uh, doesn't that scare zone doesn't require any really construction or anything at all. So I expect maybe that one to pop up if they do add a scare zone in a show. I say fifty fifty, but they can never know. It could be a, a show somewhere. Uh, the Jabberwockies can be socially distanced and inside the theater if they come back. Although I think I said that was their last year of the Jabberwockies at Hornets. Or I thought I heard something like that. But either way, what do you guys think? I'm super excited. To go to Horror Nights. Uh, I'm super excited to see what, what mazes come. If these come to fruition. These seem about right. Because these are some, some, these are lined up with a lot of the rumors I've been hearing. Over the past few weeks and months. Um, so I'm really excited. I'm just excited that Horror Nights is back and ready to go. And I can't wait to do a construction update for that on Saturday. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. Like If you like this video press the thumbs up. And have a fantastic day.